in uh, sentencing Queco Adeboli, the former UBS trader, to seven years, what we know is what the judge thinks about Queco Adeboli quite a bit. He, he just finished um, his sentencing comments. The judge told Adeboli that he was arrogant in thinking that UBS's rules didn't apply to him, and that uh, Adeboli, who throughout the trial has denied that he was a rogue trader, forgot the main definition of a rogue trader is someone who flaunts the bank's rules, which uh, the, the judge said Queco Adeboli had done. He reminded Adeboli that his daily trading limit was $100 million a day, and yet at one point, Queco Adeboli had exposed UBS to $11.8 billion of risk. The judge uh, said that Adeboli's quote, fall from grace was spectacular, that Adeboli was a man who had a good uh, family upbringing, went to a private school, and yet will forever be known as uh, the trader who caused the biggest unauthorized trading loss in British history. As he was led out of the courtroom, Queco Adeboli turned around to his father, who has been there throughout the trial. He uh, raised his hands in the air as if to say, I'm sorry, and that was it. He was taken off uh, to prison. UBS uh, has not commented on this case yet. They were not a party to the trial. However, they will welcome this. They're not completely off the hook, that, uh, though, yet. Keep in mind, British regulators are looking at this. They uh, have their own probe, and they will come to some kind of conclusion of their own as to whether uh, UBS should be penalized for this. That could involve a penalty. In any case, the headline today, Queco Adeboli, the, the so-called rogue trader here in Britain, has just been sentenced to seven years in prison for fraud.